mission of the district is to build new clubs and to support all clubs in achieving excellence. The responsibilities and duties of an area director are based on this mission. The most important goal of an area director is to establish a direct link between the district and the clubs and to serve as a link between the clubs in the area. The area director can achieve these goals in several ways. Club visits. A critical one is to become visible and available to the clubs by visiting each club in your area a minimum of twice a year. These visits carry some form of formality in which you go through a checklist with the club president and other members of the club leadership team. The first visit should take place between July 1st and November 30th and a club visit report should be submitted online to Toastmasters International no later than November 30th. Do not underestimate this administrative task. The time frame for the second visit runs from January 1st to May 31st, with submission of the report no later than May 31st. These visits help you and other district leaders understand how to support and meet the needs of each club during the year and beyond. Contests. Twice a year, the area director is responsible for organizing speech contests in the area, in the fall and in the spring. The area director is a member of three different teams. Number one, the area council. The area director is the chair of the area council. The other members of the area council are the club president, the vice president education, and the vice president membership of each club in the area. The Area Council discusses, designs, and implements the program for the Toastmasters year. And this is called the Area Success Plan. The second team is the Division Council. The Area Director is a member of the Division Council. The Division Director and the other Area Directors in the Division form the Division Council. The Division Council creates the Division Program for the year, including Division Contests, Area Contests, Club Officers Trainings, and other special events, and also creates the strategy for the creation of new clubs. This is called the Division Success Plan. The third committee is the District Executive Committee. The area director is a district officer and is therefore a member of the district executive committee. This committee meets four times a year in September, November, February, and May. In May, there is training for the newly appointed area directors planned as part of the spring district conference. There are additional training sessions that are part of the District Executive Committee meetings that take place in September and February. Ideally, area directors have served as members of the District Council, having been Club President or Vice President Education. Area directors are appointed by the District Director and are eligible to be appointed for one succeeding year only. What's in it for you? This role gives you the opportunity to work on your communication and leadership skills, to extend your network with contacts in your division and district, to get a deeper understanding of what makes Toastmasters International such a powerful organization, and to fulfill one of the requirements for Advanced Leader Silver. If you have any questions, contact the immediate past district director.